then given a cable, after I'm iterated to the fully shown, is being raised at a rate of VA, and a second cable is wrapped around the outer radius of the same pulley with the upper end of the cable attached to ground. Assume the pulley does not slip on either cable. Determine the instant center of the pulley and the velocity of B, and then sketch the velocity of B. To find the instant center here, we assume the rope C does not move whatsoever, and that means that the point it connects with the pulley will be the instant center because that point does not move. And so to find BB, we first need to find the angular velocity of the entire disk. So to do that, we know that at the instant center, the velocity is zero, and we are given the velocity at A. So we found the angular velocity using this equation and found that it was VA over um, the big radius plus the little radius because that's the position from C to A. Or, yeah. And then after that, after we have the angular velocity, we can plug it into the velocity equation between B and A. So for the velocity equation between B and A, we know that VA is simply VAJ in the positive direction. Um, we know that the angular velocity of the pulley is in the K direction, and we know that the position vector um, VA is negative R, little r i plus capital R j because we are going from a to B here, so A is down here, so we need to go in the negative R direction, in the negative I direction at a distance of R, and the positive J direction at a distance of capital R. Then after that, you just plug in the values given for angular velocity and the position vectors, you find the cross product of those, and plug in the variables down here to get our symbolic solution um, in terms of angular velocity. And then after that, we just plug in the equation that we got for angular velocity to get this symbolic solution. Um, and this symbolic solution is purely made of givens. So after we found this, we plugged in the givens and got values of negative 2i plus 2j feet per second per feet.